What's up everyone? I'm going to run a compression test on the engine. Seems like it's been running a little bit hotter than I think it should in the canyons. So um, first step is going to be to pull fuse number 54 in the glove box. So in the glove box there's there are two tabs here. The white ones on both sides. You just flip them kind of towards you. The fuse box is going to drop down. If you don't have this map I can probably take a picture and host it and link it. This is the fuel pump fuse. So fuel pump fuse 54. Second one from the left. The division in half is basically right here. I'm going to pull out these uh, tongs. If you don't have these tongs or whatever they're called, and just use, uh, use something else. First fuse here from the middle is missing. The second one which is the 20 amp one. That is the fuse for the fuel pump. So I'm going to grab it and pull it out. The next step is to start the car and just let it die or try to crank. Uh, it might not actually start. It'll kind of do that. So you want to do this on an engine at operating temperature. The bottom line of what you're going to have to get to uh, are the spark plugs. You need to take them out. So if you have the beauty cover here, you're going to have to take that off with uh, the six 10 millimeter like beauty nuts. They're silver nuts. You're going to have to remove the air filter box. And then to the extent that you have uh, post keto 2 sensor wiring here, you're going to have to remove that. Uh, and then I'm going to get to the coils remove the coils, remove all of the spark plugs. To remove the coils you just flip this up, remove the connector, the electrical connection here, and then to pull out this coil I usually just hang it up on the, hook it up with a screwdriver, pop it off, and then just repeat for the others. Sometimes they're a little bit stubborn, so I actually squeeze the sides and then pull it all the way up and that releases it. What I meant by squeezing the sides is squeezing here while you're lifting this up and that will remove, remove the connector. Next you want to remove the spark plugs from all the cylinders. So my 5.8 lost its rubber piece that sits inside that makes the spark plug stick to it. So I just use some pliers and just pull it out. For the compression tester I use this IEC compression tester that goes out to uh, 300 or has a scale to go to 300. comes with different attachments, comes with a hose obviously. It does hold maximum PSI reach so then you can re just release it um, here. And you just have to make sure that you get the right thread size. It comes with a, a lot of these attachments so this is the thread size for the spark plug. And tighten it up by hand just to seal it. Compressing that ring and then I'm just gonna thread this end into the spark plug. So I'm gonna start with number six. That's the one that is usually, well five and six. Those are the ones that are usually a little problematic. The way you just thread it in is it's going to be a little bit of, a, of an art to it. Since you, the hose is flexible, you just kind of have to make sure that you catch the threads. See if I catch and pull it up. Yeah, so I caught the thread there. I can pull it out now. I'm just going to tighten it. Again, there's going to be flex in this uh, tube, but tighten it enough and just leave it here and then go crank so the way that you need to crank it is you have to go uh, you have to open the butterflies just so there's no resistance to airflow so you're gonna go full wide open throttle and then crank it 
the same amount of times for all the cylinders. Alright, let's do 10 cranks. Okay, so all of my cylinders basically came in at between 170 and 175. This one looks like it's right around 174 or so. Uh, going to going to the Bentley manual here. The S54 compression results should be 11 to 12 bar, 160 to 174 psi. Maximum difference should be half a bar, which is 7 psi. So mine are definitely within 5 psi of each other. My temperature, the, the engine temperature is not like normal operating temperature. So my engine temperature looks like, like this. So oil is definitely on the colder side. And then coolant, I mean, I started it for maybe for three, four, five minutes just to idle to warm it up a little bit since it should be warm and not just stone cold I haven't driven the car today so I'm happy with the results quick tip for you if you're using some sort of a compression tester that has a bunch of these little uh, a bunch of these different adapters uh, on the first one I actually made a mistake of uh, not tightening this enough and then what happened was when I threaded this into the spark plug hole and then I went to unscrew it this thing stayed in the spark plug hole so then I had a little bit of a fun time getting it out however the sizing of this guy is uh, exactly the same size as you use for the spark plug hole so it's 5 8 so what I did was I actually put might not be able to see easily but I put a bunch of uh, electrical tape on it just so that uh, it could come out if it gets stuck there it will come out so anyway just a quick tip make sure that any adapter that you put on is uh, is really really tight I mean you might chew through these uh, ceiling rings but I think it's uh, it's worth it okay then uh, installation is re re reverse of the removal Famous words, I'm going to reinsert all the spark plugs. Let me see if this will work. Now that I have some electrical tape there, maybe this will not fall out. Yeah, so it looks like this will work. Well, I've got to be careful though. Otherwise, I would just use I would just use long needle nose pliers. So let's start with number six here. We start threading it in the reverse direction just to hear the threads click. There we go. Now I'm going to thread it in. And do all of them first by hand and then I'm going to torque them to uh, 23 to 25 Newton meters. So that's uh, just under 20 foot pounds actually. Okay, so one is done. I'm just going to repeat that for all the spark plugs. I'm going to torque the spark plugs to 23 Newton meters. And now I'm going to reinsert the coils. So before I press it on, I actually put the connector on, the electrical connector. And then again, squeezing the sides. Let me push, push this down. And now I push it onto the spark plug. I should feel it bottom out. Some people push it onto the spark plug first, have it bottom out and then get the connector on. I feel like that's kind of kinking the wires for the coils a little bit too much. So I give it this way. And just double check all the coils to make sure that they're all seated indeed. Okay, and then the rest of this for most folks will probably be to put 
the beauty cover on for which you do have to remove the strut bar and the oil filler cap and then you would put your filter covering on and then you have a like a plastic holder here for the wires that go across and then the last thing that I need to do is to go put in the fuse so I left the fuse right here it doesn't really matter which way you put it in you know there's no right side or left side but normally you put it in so you're able to read all of these numbers here on the fuses in the same direction just if you're OCD but again it doesn't really matter it only it, it fits either way so again you're not going to be putting it into the first slot here you're going to be putting it in the second slot after this middle divider and that I usually use just my hand it's a lot easier to do than using the analog gizmo and then this goes back in here And then the card, if you have it, it's good to keep, but there are a lot of resources online or in the Bentley manual, I think, to look up the numbers for the fuses. You just have those two white tabs on the sides. And that's it. And then just to make sure that the car restarts, 